Dear sir, I know the possibilities you ever receiving this letter are about one in a million, but I'm so desperate at this stage for help that I just gotta try for the sake of my family. So a few years ago, I was working for a film producer and I'd gone to LA to visit his storage unit. While I was there, I noticed about 12 boxes filled with letters. There were so many letters. They were all postmarked January 1970, all addressed to Michael James Brody Jr. And I'm talking thousands and thousands and thousands of letters stacked in boxes. And they were all unopened. I'm going to give away, I think, $50 million within the next year and set up a foundation and give money to the poor. Dear Mr. Brody. Dear Mr. Dear Mike. Dear Mr. Brody, I've read so much about you. He makes a major announcement that if anybody needs money, here's your answer, Michael Brody. Bingo. I want to try and cure the problems of the world. He is so imbued by love that he is going to share his love with everybody by giving them money. It was eight six-foot bags stacked with mail from all over the world. There were hundreds, thousands, I don't know how many people were in the street. He, like, took a handful of 20s and threw it out the window just to watch the madness. Dear Mr. Brody, are you happy? He had a plan to end the war in Vietnam. Do you know much about PCP? got on a helicopter and we go to the White House. And he tells him that we're here to see Nixon. <laughs> Dear Mr. Brody. Dear Mr. Brody. Dear Mr. Brody, the reason I'm writing is right now I have six children. We live in an old log house. If I could just receive some help, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Brody. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Brody. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Brody. Dear Mr. Was he sincere? Was he a victim? Was he a victimizer? I want to open up every single letter. 